Kawani Joli Fanto Blamba O Fali Hambla Gross Sigama Pafla Havla Horami Gaga Goleman High Globlo Aikora Sula Huju Holaka Holala and Logobang Blagobang Blagobang Bato Butaka U U U Now nothing too exciting ever happened at Charlie's except when Harvey came in. Harvey was a prominent, devout, deeply committed, totally involved, commode hugging drunk. He dealt mainly in small numbers. He'd steal hubcaps off Peterbilt Diesel's, the A&W root beer parking lot, and fence them at the Western Auto Store. He would dynamite catfish in copious commercial quantities in the Little Oconalahatchee River and sell them in bulk to Howard Johnson's for scallops. <laughs> Cut them out with a copper tube. But he was chiefly celebrated among the populace of our community for having imported into our thankful midst a young woman of sporting morality. An inconscionable esthete by the name of Marita, who had been drummed out of high rolling society in Phoenix City, Alabama. After her health card had been punched so many times, it disappeared into thin air. And this Marita considered herself an interpretress of the modern dance. And lo, whenever the dulcet and mellifluous tones of Miss Peggy Lee were heard to resonate upon the Wurlitzer, singing that grand old American standard fever, Marita would lose herself in an engaging series of peregrinations, pirouettes, and bumps and grinds, calculated to leave even the most diffident of observers fraught with horn. On this particular night, Harvey and Marita and a randy retinue of rednecks came stomping into Charlie's. All the local good old boys were bellied up the bar, snapping the suspenders on their big dads. Their left hands upraised in that fervid type of monodigital articulation, which bespeaks an argument in progress about the relative merits of post-hole digging attachments for John Deere Visavi International Harvester Tractors. They turn about and beheld the entry of Harvey and Marita, and in a great man-swarm gaggle of Arcadian underachievers, they slewed crabwise over the polished floor of that gaming establishment, stoking the juke with legal tender in such a manner that Peggy Lee's fever played 92 times. <coughs> and Marita so lost herself in a transcendental evocation of her timeless art, struggling gamely as it were up the Olympiad of her sensibility that she shucked her duds right on Charlie's terrazzo floor. <laughs> That's the second most exciting thing that ever happened around a turkey farm after the great massacre of 53. I responded to this visual phenomenon of unslaked carnality by instantly proposing marriage to a one-eyed waitress who happened by. I didn't want to get in anything heavy. I just wanted to set up light housekeeping in a pup tent in the parking lot until closing time. I was out there with my borrowed ball peen hammer and my steel tent stakes putting that mother up in the asphalt. Some fool run over my foot with a pickup truck, emptied out his ashtray in my sleeping bag, peed my cook fire, and the woman rejected me. So I had to go home and write this damn song. I just wanted you to know the true story so you'd understand where art comes from. <laughs>